Hello everybody. On the last video I set the stage for doing some SSH key work under a LXD Linux container, which is a challenge. So you will recall that the way I symbolically link my SSH folder from my Windows machine. It's also available to Windows Subsystem for Linux, which also makes it available to the Linux containers. And it should be the same all the way down, and permission context should remain the same all the way down, so there's no problem with git cloning and stuff. My own .ssh directory in that location is full of a bunch of stuff which is going to interfere with the work I'm doing because keys will be found. I want no keys to be found, so I'm moving all my Windows location SSH keys into a backup location, backup.ssh. So again, I just emptied everything out of this location here. I just emptied out all those, those files. So any attempt to get clone will in fact fail. And uh, I want them to succeed, but I want them to succeed using a public key providing provided by a brand new GitHub user. This one signed is as Pipulate. See, that's not it's not me. That's not my M-I-K-L-E-V-I-N account. That's a Pipulate account. And the goal here is to go into its settings. Settings, 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 settings. Whoops, that was one off. Boy, there's features to explore, isn't there? Microsoft has sure done a job on GitHub, I'll tell you. Signing up for this account put me through a marketing machine like I have not experienced before. No wonder Microsoft bought GitHub. So in the public profile, here are your SSH and GPG keys. You can click that and you can see I have no keys set up. And so let's do a before and after. Let's try and do a git clone, right? So let's confirm that the SSH directory is indeed uh, sort of wiped out so we can log into our container. And we can cd to home slash dot SSH ls. I should have done a before and after. It is in fact empty. But from here and, and almost everywhere else, you could do this from, amazingly, you could do this from PowerShell and stuff. You can type um, ssh hyphen keygen. Now, I'm going to actually add the argument hyphen uppercase C so I can put pipulate at gmail.com, which will embed that as sort of the owner of this key. Because once you do this, especially if you don't give it a special file name, right? So just that one argument, it's going to create a key pair. It asks you for what file name to use. Now, oftentimes I give a unique file name here, but I'm not going to because defaults. We want to lean into the default. So once you change a name on something, you got to have somewhere where it tells it paths and stuff or rely on software to interrogate a directory. You know, we don't want any of that. Use default file names is fine. No passphrase, no passphrase again. And there, if we ls, We'll see, we've got an ID underscore RC, that's your private key, and ID underscore RSA dot pub, which is your public key. And interestingly, now we can look at where I was showing those directories. That was just one to the left. Oh, publisher cannot open file. This has been sticking around for a while because of, well, because of me double clicking on this, a dot PUV extension and uh, attempts to prepare for this video. I accidentally tried loading Microsoft publisher. But what you really want to do is right click and say open with. It might be different on Windows 11. And I go to notepad and I select all. That is in fact your, your, your public key. It's completely okay to show this and share this. And uh, in fact all these, even the private key, it's going to go out with a container. So there's nothing particularly private about these. They're a throwaway for this one purpose. But I go into SSH keys now that I have one, and I should do it before and after, right? Before I actually, you know, save it, right? I'll paste it in, let you see, right? It starts with SSH RSA. It ends with that email address I provided. I know it's a good public key. 
it's the pipulate public key but notice i have not saved it right so we're going to do a before and the way we do a before is we can cd into my repos directory clear ls hyphen la you'll see that there is no oauth directory oauth is commonly the one i use for these purposes because uh, it is one of my uh, public on well, my repo i'm not logged in as me this is my my account here and one of my repos that i provide to people one the one of the ones that i share freely is oauth a way to log into google services there's some integration from nb dev i need to work out there but it's an open repo and anyone should be able to clone it including this pipulate user i just set up here right see this is not me this is pipulate so there's a key here that i haven't saved yet but here is an attempt to git clone now here's something interesting it's git at github.com colon and that initiates an ssh cloning as opposed to an https cloning if you're git clone https colon slash slash you're always going to be password challenged you don't want to be password challenged so you do git at github.com colon username slash uh -huh, repo name ohawf now it's likely going to fail it will ask for fingerprinting here so i guess i'll answer yes but you'll see uh, permission denied public key Right. This is probably how I'm going to title this because this is the error everyone gets all around the world. You know, permission denied, public key, fatal, could not read remote uh, repository. Check that it's there. Check that you have permissions. Blah 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 blah. Should that's the before. Let's do the after. Add SSH key. Yeah, there it is. It's there. It's never been used. In fact, I'll do a refresh on that screen to confirm never been used you can't even click into it and edit it right you can only delete it at this point so let's try that git clone again just with a key in place right git clone git at github.com call on mclin slash o off and it worked before and after success right so m p right it's not there should be after MLSEO old and between that and practice, right? LS hyphen LA. And there is OAuth right there. And it's a full fledged GitHub repo because I cloned it CD into OAuth LS hyphen LA. And first of all, you can see is even the branch is uh, highlighted because uh, of the prompt magic I'm using here. Dot bash underscore prompt is. Uh, color coding purple the branch of the repo and I'm in that directory so if you switch branches that word changes it's lovely stuff and you can see here's a dot git uh, folder which tells us that we got this through a genuine git clone and the reason I'm going through this is because I want genuinely uh, cloned repositories on this LXD container I'm giving out for SEO and data science work because you can do dev work you can start to do dev work you can create your own github account you know uh, do pull requests and all that and it's a good way to do it and without that you would be limited to doing it in other ways um, which are available just so that you know right here you don't have to git clone a repo it's nice to do but if you go to here you could also download the zip and if you see that little link that appears in the lower left when you hover over it you could use that link down here and use curl or wget or a number of other tools to just get the current head i guess it's the head of the repo the latest work and have it locally you could use it you could probably even pip install hyphen e and install it from local and get a lot of the things i'm looking to get but you couldn't you know uh, get commit and you know have the infinite undos of the project and the ability to contribute to the project if you like so i'm going the higher ground the better route and you saw the successful beginning you know the, the successful uh you know you saw it you saw it work right so i can now uh get clone from all the way down here using keys that i just put here and on projects coming up 
I don't even know if I'm going to video it. I'm going to work those keys into the process. Those keys are something that has to end up in the .ssh directory. Because even though it's in my own private location for keys now, right? Here's the, here's the stuff that was just generated. These are my keys. And this is normally trickling down. It's only not because I moved them into another location. So these would only be accessible by sort of trickling down from the host system. And your host system isn't going to have it. So what I'm really going to need to do is edit the uh, the script and just put it in location. This is an extra bonus for people who stuck with me this far. I cd into lx lxd win, which is the repo, and from in there, there's two files that control the whole picture: install.bat and install.sh. It starts out like this from Windows. It hands off control of this, and under this one, vim that. You'll see there's a whole bunch of curl commands. I might use wget somewhere. No, I guess I'm leaning towards curl right now. But these curl commands just look, copy a file, and then they, uh, you know, they uh, change the ownership and they change the permissions, and that's that's about it. Um, I'll be, you know, having to put those keys in the repo and using a curl command to copy the keys down and change a permission and put it in location and then uh, you know I'll do some git cloning using that newly <laughs> in place stuff uh, so that you know when you cd into repos and it's really an interesting part of the point here right because a lot of this is because this repos directory, it's also mapped down. The repos directory is mapped down exactly the way the SSH directory is mapped down here. But instead of just mapping it down, I'm going to uh, plop in a few other things, you know, so that uh, you have OAuth and MLSEO and Pipulate and some of the other stuff that I consider essential for SEO and, and data science work and breathe some new life into those repos, get a few more followers. and yada 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 uh, there you go that's uh, <laughs> a million dollar video on to on how to handle those uh, SSH key problems that that everyone uh, encounters so let's do key gen done thanks for joining me hope to see you soon don't forget to subscribe